Hey guys, it's Ben, and thank you for checking this out. This is my Mark's Comics YouTube channel, video number one. It's my first time. So, um, what this is, is this is basically a behind-the-scenes look at creating my comic book called Stupid Girl. It's going to be an Indiegogo campaign, um... And this isn't a tutorial series or anything of that nature. It's just kind of recording the process as I'm going along. It's a 40-page comic. I've got the whole script. What you're looking at right now is just a, uh, the script of page two. So I'm going to start with that. And I haven't done any work on the actual comic yet. Um, it's tongue-in-cheek. It's not derogatory. It's not sexist. It's nothing like that. It's more of a action comedy. It's more lighthearted. So, you know, if you're into lighthearted stuff, like maybe the old Batman show from the whatever it was, the 60s, or like a Danger Girl, or Super Friends, or any of those old Saturday morning cartoons, I think this is going to be... Uh, hopefully this is a good one for you. It's not a dark and brooding and moody kind of piece with a lot of noir blacks and, you know, it's it's not that. That's not the kind of thing I want. Uh, I don't want to read that, so I don't want to create it. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to be recording myself doing all of the work. Not all of the work. I mean, you're going to miss out on a lot, but I am regular, regularly going to record this and um, just, you know, post these videos and you'll get to see artwork in progress. Uh, there's going to be some Photoshop. There's going to be, uh, well, mostly it's going to be Photoshop, but there is going to be some 3D via Maya. Um, some people might complain oh, you know, you, that's a 3D model. Well, you know, I'm not going to try to make it look like a 3D model, clearly, but at the same time, for for uh, size, for the consistency of size and uh, location of objects and perspective, obviously for perspective, it's, it's you know, it's it's there, and why not use it? So... Uh, you know, I'm just using it as a guide. I'm not sure how it's going to be used in practice, but in theory, it's a guide. Uh, just gives me reference, sort of like if I'm using a photo. So let's take a look at page two, which is going to be the first page that I will be creating. Although I will also be working on a custom banner for my YouTube page. Um, I had like a poster that I just kind of created and I'm I'm using that, a cropped version of that as my banner. The quality is low because I don't have the original anymore. And the characters I was just making up. So they're not even in the story. Um, the main character is definitely in the story. But other than that, I haven't, you know, at that point I hadn't done anything. So you'll have to excuse it. Hopefully I can... I can add some graphics and logos and some different things that over time will make the, the web page look, look a little bit better, more professional. Um, you know, I might even hire or outsource like on Upwork or Freelancer or Fiverr some, you know, someone who's really good at After Effects who could help me with some kind of a an intro or, you know, I might mess around with some lower thirds or some transitions or, or whatever. I'd like it to be a little bit more professional, but, you know, starting out, you just got to start. So uh, forgive any quality issues if, if my voice isn't, isn't super awesome, um, you know, and if it's pretty bare bones. But again, I'm just starting out. I want to get some videos up here and let you know what it's all about. So here's page two, a widescreen view of a building's facade, the First National Bank, August, your usual bank. So, you know, uh, I'm going to be doing uh, probably, there's a lot of pages actually in this issue that are taking place in a bank. 
So that's where 3D is going to come in. It's I'm not sure how detailed I'm going to get with the model, but I at least want to make it to scale as far as I have some mannequins, some 3D mannequins, and you know, I'm just going to use those to make sure the size of everything is correct and the location and I might get bank reference from the web. I might get it from movies that are set in banks, at least partially. So maybe something like Baby Driver or the opening sequence of The Dark Knight. Something uh, that has a bank in it. And then, uh, so that's going to be a long process of modeling all the different stuff. Um, but, you know, in the end, it's going to make for a better comic because I'm not just going to be, you know, I'm not going to be as prone to cheating on the backgrounds and, you know, trying to use whatever tricks and tips and cheats. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to treat it like, hey, I'm a professional. I'm going to make this as best I can. And the thing is with Indiegogo or crowdfunding, I'm not on a schedule. I mean, it's basically whenever I want to do it. However long it takes, it takes. So, you know, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be putting this up live until I'm at least halfway done. At least. Uh, from the way I understand it, there's a six month period where you can um, you can launch a, a pre launch page where you can gather email addresses and gauge interest and that's going to be cool. So I think at least once I'm maybe on page 20 or in the 20s, I'll start that where I'll, I'll feel like I know what the pace of this is going to be time-wise and I'll have some pages that I can use as, um, you know, promotional materials on the launch page, pre-launch page. So, uh, you know, and I'm going to be on Twitter at Ben Marks, B-E-N-M-A-R-X-X. -X. So this is Marks Comics, M-A-R-X-X -X Comics, C-O-M-I-C-S. Um, I kind of thought about playing around with comics with an X, but I don't want to. I don't want it to veer into any kind of. I don't know. I just. I just figured I'd keep it. I'd keep it um, regular, so to speak. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in a bank. I'm going to be modeling a bank. Um, it's not going to be the fastest process, but again, it's going to be, I don't know, seven or ten pages inside a bank, maybe five. It's going to be worth spending time on the modeling and, you know, getting that reference, my personal reference. I'm not going to be at the mercy of images or what I can find in a movie, like if they don't have the right angle or it's not what I'm really looking for, I'm creating this myself, which gives me a lot of flexibility. And that's what it's all about. Um, I, you know, I'm not in a hurry. I want this to be the best I can possibly do. And uh, there's going to be a lot of pre-work involved. And, you know, maybe a poster, something like a splash image, a cover, all those things need to be done as well, and uh, so we'll see how it goes. So there's a bank, and then you see automatic weapon, big gun, like a Gatling, and let's see, interior of this dumb bank, splash panel. Our villain, Becky Cabello, is the lead wielding the machine gun, and she has henchmen, uh, blonde, brunette, and ginger. So we know this is basically introducing the villain and um, we call her Evil Becky. It's kind of a play on the whole Becky and uh, Karen memes. So I already do have a kind of like a, a, a drawing of her that I worked with the writer on and I pretty much know what she looks like. I'm not going to show that now. One thing I really wanted to do was try to make everything as consistent as possible. So something I've never really done before is 
cast actors into roles. Um, I have kind of started. So, for example, for Evil Becky, I've got Anne Hathaway. I just think she has a look that's going to work. There are, of course, a lot of actors, and it's just, you know, it doesn't really matter. But in my opinion, just having an actor is important for consistency. So from shot to shot, from angle to angle, expressions, um, you know, the shape of her nose is the same, her chin, the shape, you know, the length of her face, her hairstyle. Well, hairstyle is not a big deal, but you know, her eyes. Um, and I'm not trying to make it necessarily look like the actor. I just want a rough guide so that it doesn't look like a completely different person from one page to the next. And as well, I don't want two female characters to basically be indistinguishable from each other except for the hair. Because that's, that's I mean, that's super, super common. And I don't, you know, I have nothing against an artist for doing that, you know, for, I mean, I'm sure most of my ladies look exactly the same. Sometimes I try to draw, you know, different, um, different noses or different features. But again, uh, I'm going to take a little bit of extra care. I'm going to gather reference and, you know, I'm going to make big collages. So you're not going to see that now. It's probably going to be uh, the next video. I'll have at least maybe one collage of a character's actor reference. And because I'm starting on page two and this is Evil Becky, Blonde, Brunette, and Ginger, I'm going to start with those characters because, well, they're the ones that are going to be on this page. And they're on a lot of future pages as well. So... Um, yeah, Becky's going to be Anne Hathaway. Um, there is a villain. There, There's another, I don't know if you'd call him villain. He's maybe like a, a antagonist or a kind of a plot point kind of, I don't know, character. It's hard to say. Um, but it's going to be, it's kind of like a young, uh, a young uh, Harry Osborn, maybe kind of type type character. And I really like Christopher Mintz uh, Plass, who McLovin, or he was in um, Kick-Ass. Uh, I think he's going to work really well. At least in my mind, that's who came to my mind. Um, if I don't find enough reference on Google, I will just rent um, a movie or two starring you know, the actor that I'm looking for. And I'll just take a lot of screenshots while I'm watching the movie. And, um, you know, 24 hours or whatever of a rental is, I think, plenty of time to gather, you know, different expressions, different angles. And I should be able to throw something together because, again, I'm not I don't need every single thing, every single view. I just need enough to you know, make sure that I have consistency from page to page and panel to panel for these characters. And then the lead stupid girl is either going to be Halle Berry or uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh, she's a white character, and these are obviously not white actors, but um, I just like the way they look. I like the shape of their faces. Uh, they're, they're beautiful. And you know, I throw on blonde pigtails and again, it's just for consistency and reference. I'm not trying to make people look at this and say, oh, wow, that's that's Halle Berry, um, such as um, I forget the artist's name. Oh, my gosh. Um, but, you know, Samuel L. Jackson was. Samuel L. Jackson was Nick Fury in the comics before he was in the movie. And that's just because the artist decided, hey, I want Nick Fury to look like Samuel L. Jackson. And then they just worked it out to where they got Samuel L. Jackson to play the movie, which matches the comic. And um, Brian Hitch, I believe, is the artist. 
And another instance of that is getting uh, Tommy Lee Jones as the reference for Norman Osborn. And again, I'm not trying to like make people look at these drawings and say, oh, that's this actor or oh, this that's this person. No, it's just for me to, to maintain consistency. But this this is a uh, bank robbery or a bank heist, and there is comedy in it. It's meant to be humorous. It's it's um, it's light. It's funny. It's just meant to be a good time, a fun comic. It's not a serious, you know, dark, brooding, dark night kind of kind of thing. I've never been into that. I don't like the direction that these movies have gone. Um, I mean, as great as I think Christopher Nolan is and as great as I think Zack Snyder's style can be, it's too dark for me. I like something more like Guardians of the Galaxy, something that's more colorful, something that has humor, action. I really like that tone, and that's that's in my mind, that's what I'm going for. So there's a bank teller. Um, MBG is Magic Black Girl, and she's, she's a character that's only in it for a, a short period of time, but um, I've kind of got an idea, a little bit like Domino. Um, I can't remember if that's Zoe Kravitz from the Deadpool movie. But that's kind of what I'm thinking she looks like, except more like maybe purple and blue, maybe purple, blue, and white. Maybe some pink, but not too much pink because that's stupid girl's color. Um, so that's who's in here. I'm probably just going to get some, you know, I don't know, just some kind of uh, bouncer kind of looking characters for... For blonde brunette and ginger I'm probably just I don't know I mean I don't know maybe bank teller can be um, David Hyde Pierce these aren't recurring characters uh, I mean the thugs are but like the bank teller maybe only in one panel or you know maybe two panels total but you know I don't need to get a lot of reference I just need to maybe google like this actor and okay that's basically what he looks like we'll go with it so, um, yeah, this is the this is the the gist of page two, and it it carries on through a lot of the comic. Is it's a bank heist, so it's Becky, her three henchmen, in a bank, doing bank robbery type stuff. And um, right now, you can see this is my my YouTube page the way it looks right now. The quality of this is really low because I didn't have the original and I had to I had to basically blow it up. And then it's really long and I didn't plan for it to be cropped like that. So I am going to have to custom create a banner. I made this little banner here this evening in Illustrator um, using a little bit of pink, which is Stupid Girl's color which you can't seek because it's cropped but you know this is going to be um this is going to be something that i'm going to have to be i'm going to have to think about it because it lets me uh view a preview of this on like a, a big monitor on a phone a different sizes and it kind of gives me different windows where it's going to be cropped so it is a little bit tricky because I'm going to have to basically put a like a Mark's Comics or something, maybe the web address or, or something here in the middle so that no matter how it gets cropped, it's always going to be there. I'll figure that out. Like for right now, I just wanted to throw this up there so it's, you know, so there's something there basically. Um, and I don't have any videos, so... I don't have any uploads. This channel has no videos. This is my first video. So here is um, just Google Images, Anne Hathaway. Um, even though she's the villain, I do think, I don't know, there's just, maybe it's her nose or something. I mean, she's been in a lot of movies. 
So obviously, um, the Dark Knight Rises. She was Catwoman. Um, I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, what is it? The Princess Diaries. I don't know. I don't really know her movies, but um, I think she'd be a really a really good actress or actor to cast as one of the characters. So um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna grab a lot of these and put them in a collage and then I'm going to kind of figure out which angles and maybe some angry expressions because I'm sure she's going to be yelling and I doubt I'm going to find any angry yelling expressions from Google Images. I'm going to have to take my own screen captures from like an action movie or where she's upset. And then just so you guys are aware, um, This is the guy who is going to be in the, the comic later. Um, he's kind of like a young, super genius, uh, um, mega rich, whatever. You know, he's just kind of like he's super smart. He's super rich. He's a brat. He's, you know, kind of a, <laughs> kind of a dick. And I just think, you know, I don't like him with the beard. It's kind of weird, but, um, you know, something like, um, I don't know. I mean, whatever. I just think he kind of, he just looks like he could, uh, really play the, play the part of this character that I have in my mind. Like probably that's kind of what I'm looking, looking for. Um, I might use some some thicker glasses, some thicker rimmed glasses, or something like that. You know, it doesn't really matter. Um, probably as far as the hair, I would do something like that. Something like a cooler style because this guy thinks he's just so cool. And then you guys know what... Um, uh, let's see... I spelled it wrong. So, um, you guys all, I mean, you know who these are, but, um, wow, that's freaky. <laughs> um, so I think, you know, that would be just awesome. Like that, if, if she was the main character, I think that would be super, super cool. Um, and then, you know, uh, yeah. I don't know. Mm, I guess, I don't know. I think, now she's older, they're both older now, obviously, they're both older than me, so, um, but you know, they've got history of when they were, they were a lot, you know, younger, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I think because these are older, like, let's see, Jada Pinkett Matrix. You know, and the Matrix is, I mean, it's kind of old by now, you know? Um, I mean, it's not like it came out a few years ago. It's, it's pretty old at this point. So, I mean, this is where I would get probably a lot of her reference um you know she could that could be a stupid girl's face um yeah i don't know um what do you guys think i guess that's a question i'll ask for you guys is do you think she should be uh the main character should be referenced from jada pinkett smith or do you think she should be um, Halle Berry? I am leaning towards Halle Berry myself, but, um, you know, I'd like to know what you guys think. It's going to be, right now it's, it's August 12th, 
So I'll let you know, it's probably going to be, wow, I mean, I don't know, months. Maybe it's probably going to be at least a few weeks before I, I get around to drawing her. So we have a lot of time to make up, um, you know, we have a lot of time to, to decide who's going to play her because I have a lot of work to do just to set up the bank scene to get reference for Becky and the henchmen. Uh, it's a lot of work. So yeah, there is no hurry. We have a ton of time, but I will put this as kind of a informal poll. So if you want to tell me who you think should be playing the lead, and for that matter, if you have other ideas over, you know, who might make a good villain, who might make a, a good henchman, who might make a good young, rich, bratty, you know, founder of a billion, billion dollar company. Um, you know, let me know. Put it in the comments. Let me know. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about that. But if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm just starting out. I do imagine it's going to take... Uh, from what I've heard, about two years of consistently putting out three to five videos a week. So I am not in a hurry. Hopefully this isn't too boring for you. I do want feedback that's going to inform how I go about this channel. With that said, um, this is I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos because I'm basically just going to be recording my work process while I'm talking. So... Um, hopefully you guys find this interesting. Maybe you learn something from it. And over time, I will get a routine down where I maybe have a, like I said, a lower thirds, an intro. I have like a kind of a memorized um, outro asking for feedback, thumbs up, uh, subscriptions, and subscribe to my channel, whatnot. Um, but for right now, I'm winging it. Just want to get some videos out there and... Hopefully this comic is awesome. I have your support and you know when when it comes time to launch, I'll have your support with the actual comic because I do want to make this as excellent as I possibly can, like pro quality, like good quality paper. I want you guys to be happy and excited that you backed it. And um yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Well, take care. Thank you so much for checking this out, and I will uh, talk to you next time.